TUV did not exist, Martin McGuinness would already be meddling in policing and justice. As I said at the European election, traditional unionist voice is indeed the unionist people's best insurance policy. And we're seeing that every day. But Mick, But make no mistake, the DUP is preparing to deliver this key Republican demand. Another phony consultation, a few diversionary sweeteners will be the ploy. But Marty's meddling days in justice are coming, courtesy of the DUP. Used to be. The IRA cruelly, deliberately, consciously decided when judges would be killed and policemen would be killed. Soon they will be exercising a controlling veto over those very disciplines. That will be the DUP's shameful and lasting legacy from this, its first and last era of First Ministership. <laughs> As for the devolving of policing and justice to Stormont, being in the likeness of Carson, such nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. Carson's life and legacy delivered Ulster from Republican government and control. The DUP's legacy, tragically, is of empowering Republicanism. First as joint first minister, and now in getting them sway and veto powers over policing and justice. Every unionist, who facilitates the transfer of policing and justice powers to an executive and assembly in which IRA Sinn Féin holds the sway, is advancing Republicans' Brits out strategy of ending British control of policing and justice. <laughs> Never forget the two most potent symbols of constitutional affinity and control in any nation are who controls the police and who controls the judiciary. And that is why, to republicanism, it is such a central part of their Brits out strategy. They must end British control if they are to advance the evolution of their all-Ireland statehood. As for the new unionists need apply, I'm agnostic on the union justice minister. He will be a mere pawn in the quadruple hands of the joint first ministers. A stooge, if ever there was one. Why do you think, ladies and gentlemen, Spineless Alliance was chosen to provide this placement. Because with no backbone, you can be twisted every which way round the manipulative little fingers of the Joint First Minister. <laughs> already, already, the Joint First Ministers have made what should have been his first appointment by themselves unilaterally choosing who will be Attorney General. Capacity for independent thinking normally comes with the territory of government office. But then so does ability. But the normal rules clearly don't apply. Because this is an executive, which is Edwin Putz and Robin Newton on its front bench. So David Ford needn't feel too bad 
about being a puppet of OFM, DFM. His party's been a puppet for the NIO, uh, NIO for years, so nothing's new. And a man whose claim to fame is to boast of being the back part of a pantomime horse will fit very comfortably into the pantomime at Stormont and the manipulation and the puppet string pulling that he will be subjected to by the joint first ministers. Ladies and gentlemen, the huckster shop deal on policing and justice, like all other DUP Sinn Féin deals, has a ticking time bomb built in. In 2012, a sunset clause opens the whole subject up to fresh negotiations, affording Sinn Féin yet another opportunity to extract fresh concessions. Fresh concessions as the price of them continuing with devolution. What they don't get this time, ladies and gentlemen, they'll be plucking next time from the passing conveyor belt of concessions.